welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, today's video is actually part of a three-part series that I've put together. And this three-part series is for the month of January, and it links into the content of what I was speaking about in the January 2019 Outlook. Now, in that Outlook, if you watched your little mini reading, you would have noticed that I would have pointed out that this month, a large theme of what this month is about is about re-engineering our lives in some way. And it's about strategizing, it's about putting down some goals, some long range goals. And this can be quite long range. This can be a few years into the future. So we really are at a lovely point in time where we're able to put down some foundations, sow some amazing seeds and get some new things in place. It's a very, very exciting time. So this three part series deals with how we strategize and I'm hoping that you find some wisdom in this three part series that will help you to, to really start re-engineering your life in a way that lets you be more yourself. You know what I mean? So it might be that you want to change career. You're like, you know what? Insurance, it's a lot of fun, but it's not for me and it's not forever. You know, if you're working in an insurance company or if you're working, and for some people they love that, but then some people are just doing that in order to get to something else. And it's like, okay, how do we re-engineer and restructure things to get you to that something else? So today's video is all centered around a quote that I found. Uh, I found a lot of people talking about it. Jordan Peterson is someone who definitely has a little video on this. The quote is, do it badly. And he's got a do it badly video out there that has heaps and heaps of views. I did some Google searching because I wasn't quite convinced that this was his idea. And sure enough, there's an original author of this and it's Steve Chandler. And I'll read you the exact quote. He says, do it badly, do it slowly, do it fearfully, do it any way you have to, but do it. And I'm reading the quote off my laptop, Steve Chandler, from the book Reinventing Yourself, How to Become the Person You've Always Wanted to Be. And I thought this is such a good concept because when I do the part-time work that I do for the psychiatric clinic and when I chat with the lead psychiatrist there and we talk about the different um, illnesses, mental illnesses and the different psychiatric disorders she's working with, at the heart of a lot of those disorders is the kind of, I suppose you could call it like, at the heart of them is perfectionism. It is the desire to be perfect. Um, it's crippling. You know, I'm kind of trying to find the words for, for the crippling bent of perfectionism. Maybe I'm kind of going with that right now. Um, but yeah, perfectionism is at the heart of some of these psychiatric disorders, is at the heart of some of the things that are holding people back. And, you know, I, I don't want to say that perfectionism is a bad thing either. You know, I've got a note here on my screen saying not all perfectionism is bad. You know, there can be a lot of satisfaction that comes from achieving perfection. Um, just a couple of days ago, I was following my own advice. I was walking my talk. I was re-engineering a lot of things on my laptop. I was um, getting the folders all neat and I redid the header on the YouTube channel and you know I, I, I've redone re-engineered all these things I've put new intro music for this video uh, I think I'm going to have new music every year possibly let me know how you like it uh, but you know it just felt time for a change it felt like a change was needed so I thought yep let's re-engineer that um, so I've been doing a lot of re-engineering myself and as I've been doing that you know I have a tried for perfection I suppose like I was getting quite fiddly with the header and I was like okay let's move that there no let's shift it there let's do this let's do that and then when you get it just right there is an ah moment like you kind of go oh this is great and it feels good and I thought about that I thought about not all perfectionism is bad but perfectionism can be bad when it stops us from trying at all and I can definitely put my hand up 
to that. I have stopped myself um, many times over many years. Um, you know, I, I, I wrote a work of fiction some years ago and, you know, I had made many, many, many failed attempts before I actually did it and completed it. Uh, for this channel, for example, I was scared to do it. I didn't want to do it. I was like, oh, I can't do it. Um, I did a practice channel before this one, uh, which I have since part of the, you know, reorganizing of my laptop was going back to that and just closing that down and, and you know, organizing this one better and all of that. So um, definitely I've, I've been one to allow perfectionism, like, to cripple me to the point that I don't even try. Uh, you know, perfectionism can be a real self-saboteur type move and, um, you know, it, it can be, it can be crippling, it can stop you from trying. So I experience both. I experience both the satisfaction of, you know, or when you clean your apartment or you clean your room and it just feels so good and when you reorganize your shelf, when you reorganize a cupboard and it, it just feels fantastic you know, you achieve this sort of perfection and you're tired at the end and you sit down on the couch, but you think, oh, I feel really organized now. So I've definitely felt the perfection is a good thing, but equally uh, it can be crippling and it can stop us from doing things. So this quote, do it badly, is one for you to ponder. Where is there healthy perfection in your life or healthy perfectionism? Maybe it's in your job. Maybe you're a graphic designer and you have to be pixel perfect all the time. Uh, you know, and you are, and you're natural at it and you're good at it. And it, that's, that's great. You know, that's, that's where perfectionism works beautifully in your life. But then where does perfectionism hold you back? Where is it a place of self-sabotage? Where is it a thing where you're thinking, oh, I can't do that? Oh, I want to do it, but no, I can't, you know, um, I won't be good at it. I, I won't be. And, and another thing that stops us is that we think that, well, there's thousands of people who do that. Why is anyone going to listen to me? You know, and that stops us because there are millions of other people doing it and they're good at it and they're perfect at it or whatever. So there's a lot of things that can stop us. I've got a note here as well that I'm a big believer in. So yes, let's list them. Drafts, models, plans, strategies, lists, bits of paper where you, and I'll show you, I've got my various bits of paper where I'm just kind of scribbling, you know, get this done today. Um, this is like, well, this is not a great example of that, but kind of messy scribbles where you're just like, you know, trying, planning, preparing. Sometimes I've even written to-do lists where I have a task on the to-do list that says write a to-do list. Now, that's pretty sad, but like it has been good. It has got me started. And sometimes when you're stuck, so this is advice for if you're stuck, if you're stuck, any movement is good. Just make any movement, just make, and that is writing the to-do list where your first task is write a to-do list, okay? Any movement is good because as you move, you might be going in the wrong direction, but you will course correct. Because of movement, you'll be able to course correct and get onto your path. So that's an important thing there. Now, astrologically, who are we looking at when it comes to do it badly? You know, what are we looking at here astrologically? So I would want to talk to the Virgoans. Hello, Virgo. You're one of my favorite signs ever. Uh, I'd want to talk to Virgoans. I'd want to talk to anyone who feels like they've got a very strong mercury or mercury is their thing uh, if you're a very mercurial person if you're very much up in the mind um, sometimes you can be so critical at that mind plane and this could even apply to air signs as well actually uh, so we're looking at who else are we looking at there well we're looking at gemini libra and aquarius i believe i want to double check that but i'm pretty sure i've got that right um my handy little yeah absolutely gemini libra aquarius i could possibly be talking to you but i definitely as i was formulating this i was thinking i really want this is a big message for the virgoans uh because you guys are perfectionists and highly mercurial people, very mercurial people, strong mercuries. I've seen people with factory fresh mercuries who've got like a zero degree mercury and these are genius people. 
but they will sometimes be so much in a quest for perfection that they don't even try. And that can be a block to getting your gifts, strengths and talents out into the world. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video, this little motivational video for January that matches the content of what I was saying in that January 2019 video. There are two more videos to come in relation to setting goals and making progress uh, this January. So do stay tuned for those. But thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.